Welcome back to CDT, it's your boy Ditto. I am extremely laggy right now because I still have the graphics quality up to the max. Fixed it. Um, today we're reviewing, unlike what I said yesterday, the Ferrari J50. Mainly because I, um, I kind of forgot to grind the money to get the one-to-one. -one. Kind of sick of grinding, but there we are. So we're reviewing this today, Ferrari J50. I think it's an F8 Tributo that it's based on. But then they turned it into this. And I know it because of asphalt. Really impressive. We'll get into specs quickly. Quite simple specs. Red. That looks a bit too orangey. Why does that look so orangey? So basically this and this are the only two specs that you can have that look nice. That one's too orangey. But yeah, this is very simple. Why did I press that? White wheels and black interior. I have not been driving this very much. So <coughs> Yeah, excuse me. Right. Let's get into driving it and get into drifting it. Quickly do the sound check though. That doesn't sound good in the slightest. That sounds really terrible. It sounds flatulent and weak. And when the exhaust popped, my cat got startled. My cat got startled. However, when we get into drifting it, it's impressive. Like, watch this. Perfect. To the left. That's amazing. I haven't seen better in quite a while. Into here. This is really fun to drift. This is impressive. Right, let's get into driving it. And we're on our normal um, update, um, update? Review um, system of city, highway, map, um, um, nice road, mountains, um, circuit, and then oval, and then drag. And this time it's oval circuit, because this is designed to be, this isn't designed to be, this isn't designed to be a NASCAR. Oh, my friend Myra's in the server. <laughs> you thought. Oh, I had some fun. Oh, look, I'm on 47,000 miles now. That's nice. Still quite laggy. Let's go. 150, 160, 170. This thing pulls quite well in the... Oh, God. That's lag. That is really bad lag. Come on. This thing pulls quite well in the higher gears. Not going to lie. And it corners really well. Proper layout. Up to 180, we're going to break. Lift and I hit the wall because it turns really well and I didn't realise it turned that well. I'm still lagging. Why does it handle so well? I mean, this is seriously impressive. There's quite a fair amount of body roll. My colour, I think I might be slightly colour blind because in this light this car looks orange. No, it is orange. Why is it orange? But look at how well it handles. I was not expecting it to do this well, but it, it did. 40.2, that is a joy to drive. I really like driving this car. It's fun, it's light, quite a bit of body roll, but it goes through the corners really well. It drifts really well. This could be one of the best cars in the game. Because 
I haven't come up with a problem with it yet, other than the engine note. I should beat you in that. Oh dear. Really? setting it so that it goes on to two laps because I know that either way it'll still go on to two laps. I'm just guaranteeing it if I pick one lap. Oh, she's off. Is it a he? I'm not sure who Myra or like what gender Myra is. My cat's licking its arse while I'm doing this, and it's quite funny. Just ignore the fact I'm in second. I'm up against a dragster, being driven apparently quite well. Making some horrible noises. As for the car, I'm not sure actually. Oh gosh. Hey, look. Quite a surprising amount of understeer. No, not understeer. It stays perfectly fine. But it doesn't respond to well to light inputs. It still feels quite twitchy. And there's actually a decent amount of body roll. Not too much. It's not like a G-Wagon or something. It's just a little bit excessive. Oh, come on. Please crash your Formula Oval. Please do it. I'm going to take the slightly shorter route, but more dangerous route. God, I'm getting competitive now. Fifty-eight point seven. Jeez, I'm impressed. Fifty-eight point seven in a car like this, you don't understand how good that is. The three hundred and ten mile an hour Koenig Zegesco is only eight seconds faster. That's eighty miles an hour faster. But only 8 seconds. In fact, not even that because it does that when it's tuned, not when it's standard. Standard is only a 52. Well, that's on a good day. Right, let's get into driving it on the mountain pass because I like this car and how it drives. So I can't wait to be, you know, putting it through some nice corners, beautiful scenery, having fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm getting a load of ping. Which makes no sense. Ugh, please stop pinging. Is pinging a word? In this sense? I don't know. Let's go. More power. We're going to go right... This feels so nice to drive. Silky smooth. <coughs> I'm slightly dying. There's still no update countdown though. I mean for like ne tomorrow's update. Which is hopefully going to be an update. And not just here have double money for the weekend or the week. I mean I do need a double, an extra double money. But oh my god. Anyway, let's let's do the bump test. Try and get it up to a high speed. See how it responds to bumps. Also, I have just an I'm I've got a TikTok account now. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting the laps, like the races I do in these reviews up to TikTok. Oh, for goodness sake. 
I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it and then tell, tell them later. I should have turned my collision off. Stop pushing me out of the race. Yeah, it does that sometimes. You've just got to steer the opposite direction when you launch. Right, the Formula Oval's apparently got better um, acceleration than me. Come on, let's go. 160, 170. Mild bit of air on the incline change, 180. Full throttle taking some shortcuts. Mild bit of discomfort as I hit a bump. And we're up to the um, and we're up to the first the uh, mountain hairpins set one. Yes, yeah, seriously, I've named these parts of the mountains. Now we've got the dirt rally along the houses, and then through tunnel two. Full power through this twisty section of Tunnel 2. And then we have this lovely long straight windy section. I call it the rainbows. And then now we're into mounted hairpin set 2. Just this final section, I've called it mountains hairpin set 2. And I'm on 21.7, and that car felt amazing to drive. Seriously. You don't know what you're missing out on. Let's get into circuit. Or, um, oval, technically. But anyway. Let's do this. That did not go well, but let's just pretend it was a nice handbrake turn. And definitely wasn't me making a hash of things. Uh, oval. We'll join the oval first and then... So I'm not sure which Ferrari this is based on. I think it's the F8 Tributo. Which I suppose it means I was half right in guessing it was an SP48 Unica um, when I saw the pictures. It's not, but it is based on the same car as the SP48 Unica is based on. Oh, my cat's stood up. This video is sponsored by my cat. Got the camera at a completely wrong angle. Full throttle, 180. Dot to 200. Mild to settle in the chassis. 231 miles an hour. You see the smoke coming off it. Only you can't because I've got to keep the camera going in the right direction. Here we go. <coughs> this is seriously quick. Unfortunately, I did hit a wall. Let's go. There really isn't much to say on the NASCAR oval. It's more a test of, you know, maintaining your speed through corners. It's not really fun unless you're racing with friends. And I keep hitting walls. Gotta admit, the J50 is one of the most obscure Ferraris out there. Although saying that I know about the SP48 Unicar, that's quite obscure.
17.6, that's quite quick. And that definitely wasn't supposed to rhyme. It just came out that way and I'm now disgusted with myself. Spin it round. These wheels look really familiar. Tell you what they do look like. If I show them to you. Because there's one rim that they look really similar to. This one. Only they don't when you put it on it. Kind of weird, but you know. Yeah, I am running this car standard suspension, standard tyres, standard upgrade. By which I mean no upgrade. Right, oh, oh, it feels really good on the track. Really, really good. Braking slightly through here. I still haven't thought of names for these track for these track sections yet. I'll do it one day. Oh dear. Right. Oh yeah, that felt good. That's what she said. That seriously felt good. Coming in wide through that corner, braking slightly. I can't drive. I've got to focus more. I'm not focused enough. Come on, full power. We got smoke. Oh yeah. It makes smoke when you um break. I love that. Right, and then full power. Break, break, break. Twenty seconds left. Hopefully we'll get a sub 40 second lap time. I'm hoping for 37 seconds. Sounds a bit high, but... I mean, sounds a bit tough, but... Oh, see? What did I tell you? 36.8. That's an amazing time. I wouldn't have expected more than a 38 from you. I was hoping for a 37, though. Because... Because I like this car a lot. I really do. It, while it might not be the most famous Ferrari, or the most elegant, I'm not saying it's ugly, I'm just saying it's a bit brash. I like it a lot. I really do. It drives well, drifts well, it's fun, and um, it's also free. And who wouldn't turn down a free Ferrari? Yeah, you can really see how much effort I put into the UGC hunt. It does sit down quite hard when you launch it, I will admit. What? Why did it do that? Oh, I snagged it. I didn't realise I was snagging it. Sorry, let's do that again. Fourteen seconds is not the right time for a car like this, so we've got to retake that. I wouldn't do it if it was a big race. I will do it because it's like a, you know, an extra thirty seconds to keep you watching. And if you are watching, maybe think about subscribing. Or liking. Or checking out my TikTok. There we go. 13298. That's obviously a massive difference. 
0.7 seconds in half a mile. That's really considerably big. And um, that and that also means we've come to the end, which is sad because now I've got to go back to grinding for the one to one. <sighs> well, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoy your um, Ferrari J50s. I'm going to go and drift mine on the um, ice lake for a little bit before I upload. And then I'm going to go grind for the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.